Like, what's the infatuation, especially in America, or especially just in black culture overall, with being obsessed with the whole, like, snitching thing? Because I understand it from Boosie's side of things. I think Boosie has a history of somebody in his camp. I think one of his shooters got arrested and basically he got implicated in some stuff because his shooter snitched on some certain things. So I can understand if you were directly involved in things and you're, you were living a street life and you were in a gang and you had somebody snitch on you and potentially take you away from your children and ruin your life and stuff, even though they agreed to that lifestyle too, but suddenly they had a change of heart. I can understand why it would affect you. But to a regular schmegular civilian who's never lived that lifestyle, why would it be, why would it bother you that Gunner snitched or didn't snitch? It shouldn't really bother you in the slightest, really, in my opinion. But let's play the clip anyway. This is Boosie talking about the whole topic on this podcast. You want to play? Thing that came out this week. He said, um, basically said, gonna a rat. Do you think you can be have that type of label in this industry and have a successful career? I think Ghana might be done unless he go to probably another country. Yeah, yeah, cause Weezy say fuck it. He we, did. Weezy really out of here. Weezy say he out of here. Weezy out of here. What he say? That? Yeah, yeah, like Weezy said like, like a couple days, days ago. ago. I saw this. Shit. Weezy said you out of here. Everybody's saying, hey, you might need to go to. I, I mean, he said he, he said he working on something. You know, I don't though. want no rat to excel. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, I hope know. he never sell a record again. I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah, I really hope he never sells another record again. You know, I don't. You know, I just you know. I, what if, what if, uh, what if, it, what if, um, yeah, what if, so I hope he never sells another record again. Again, when it comes from Boosie, I get it because he's directly been involved in situations where a snitch and somebody that was a part of the lifestyle, part of that culture, a part of that way of life decided to then rat on everybody to spare themselves time i think there is a lack of honor involved in that fair enough if you're involved in the lifestyle but if you're just a consumer of the music why would you care if gunner snitched or not it's a very bizarre thing and i feel like in some regards on podcasts it feels like a weird way for men especially to kind of feel like they're bad to feel like they're bad boys when you speak about this type of stuff. Because I enjoy watching documentaries on YouTube, don't get me wrong. I enjoy watching all these documentaries about the war in Chirac and whoever's warring here in Memphis and stuff. They're interested to see from like a documentary point of view. But I'm not making any informed lifestyle decisions or personal choices based on what those people do or acting tough because of it. But it does remind me a lot of the people, there's a certain segment of guys who watch like UFC and MMA who kind of make it their part of their identity because they hope it makes them look hard and makes them look like they can fight. And I think it's the same thing with guys who talk aggressively and often about who snitched, why they snitched, should snitches be allowed back in the industry? It's fucking nonsense. Like Gunner is still one of the best rappers in the scene. Um, you know, one of the most successful before the whole trial went. I'm sure even more successful now with all that attention on him. But people that just love the music, he's going to do well. There's no way, shadow, doubt about it. And unfortunately, in this industry we're in, if you do well and your numbers hit, the industry will push you regardless because you're going to be good for business. So this idea that he's going to be co he's going to be blackballed and he's not going to sell records and shit is ridiculous. The guy sells records easily anyway. And now with this extra level of, you know, this this extra storyline attached to his name i'm sure it's only going to increase the intrigue so that's never really going to happen in terms of him not being able to sell records but i just find regular civilians interest in who snitches and who doesn't snitches to be really ridiculous kind of sad and a bit corny to be completely fair but it is also it is also a instinct and a clue here that Gunner is definitely looking to step out and ready to come back outside and be putting music out because we're seeing pictures of him out and about. This is the slowest rollout I've seen so far post snitch. Cause I felt like once he did snitch on YSL that he was going to um, wait until the trial verdict to then go about restarting his career. But unfortunately he's probably got his own mouth to feed bills to pay and just maybe music to tell, music to get out there and express. And he has to kind of get back out there and kind of, I won't say strike while his iron's hot, but just restart his life as he as it may be. 
And this is a good example of it because he was recently spotted at a basketball game, sitting there chilling. And he obviously looks in rarely good nick. So one thing you could say for snitching is that if you want to snitch, it definitely does help in terms of your health. You definitely go on some sort of health glow up when you snitch. You want to come out looking completely different and maybe feeling different, sounding different, acting different, moving different based on the traumatic experience that you went through. But you can't help but feel sorry and sad for like young fug knowing that Gunner is out here on the side of basketball games, chilling, having a good time with his friends while Fug is in court sweating his face off looking really stressed facing double digit time in prison and one of his kind of main guys who he brought through and responsible for kind of bringing up is out here you know at basketball games chilling having a good time and shit that's the real kind of bittersweet side of like living the street life and being a part of a gang is that sometimes you know your friends get off because they cooperate you hold it down because you're really about that life but then you end up with the far worse consequences in this because now there's no option for you to do a plea or anything you have to just sit there and take it to trial so that's the only kind of sad thing in there but Gunner is looking really good though that's definitely good to be said this is a second picture of him also um, a fan bumped into him while she was walking around town and he's definitely lost a ton of weight I must say he's already lost 60 pounds clearly um, he's even like and you could tell he's lost a lot of weight because you know he's gotten rid of the chin strap that's usually a first sign that guys lose a lot of weight they start to take off the the beard there's no need for it because your jawline's already popping through because the you know the skin the weight loss on your face is already there so he's definitely looking in great nick i'm gonna say he, i'm gonna say he lost about 60 pounds clearly i think personally it's about 60 pounds here he's lost um but yeah it's just a bit that's the only thing that's a bit sad bittersweet to see if you're a fan of ysl as a label to see Fug going through what he's going through and to see Gunner out here <laughs> striving, looking successful, gearing up for an album rollout. That's the only bittersweet side of things, to be honest. But this is the unfortunate real realities of living the street life. And um, yeah, only wish Fug the best. Free slime. Hope he gets out soon. Hope he gets out soon.